Hey everyone, it's Joe Glass from the Automator, and today I'm going to demo this really, really cool tool called Clip History. Um, you can get the URL up here. I think it's, it is a paid tool. It's like four or five dollars. I forget how much, but uh, it's pretty inexpensive. Really cool functionality. Let me share my screen here. There we go. And it, it doesn't normally sit on top. I've made it to sit on top just so for the demo purposes. Right now, there's nothing saved, right? But if I go here and copy, so I'm going to say copy. Notice it tells me the program it was copied from. Oh, I got a filter here. It, and the time and, and the text. So I can later go borrow from it. I'm going to copy this one separately just to show the example. And let me go over to. Uh, it, it just works with text. So. It can keep, keeps track of the program you were in. So this way later, if you want to filter on it. I can filter on Notepad. Oh, okay, there it is, right? Um, and I can click it and get it back into my clipboard, which let me show you here. So if I copy have, um, and then I want hello there. I know these are stupid examples, right? But if I hit Control C, we can copy it. So that'll get it back. But what's really cool, so that's nice, and it's, it's better than the built-in Windows V clipboard history. Plus, also, you can choose... Oh, that always on top is messing me up now. Uh, you can choose how far back to track. Like I only have it for 15 minutes, but you could go further. Um, you can also assign hotkeys to different things here. We'll get into these in a bit. Uh, what's really cool though is right now, if I have watched the clipboard on um, and apply filter, well, we're not gonna, we'll turn that on here in a second. But if I start typing, so notice that is now auto suggested to me so I don't have to come into this GUI like I can and if I copy all of this I'm going to copy all of it now we got a big one now if I delete that and I'll start typing oh yeah there it is so it'll dump it right back in right again very very cool now we have hotkeys that allow you to enable disable the show suggestion so right now it's control shift a but you can ch change that right so if I Turn off, if I hit Control shift a Control shift a now the suggestions are off. So now, now it's not suggesting them, right? Um, but if I hit Control shift a because it does get to be annoying, honestly. So now it's monitoring them. Um, you, so you do want to have some sort of a hotkey to toggle it, at least. You also could come into your preferences and increase the, um, the number of characters, maybe make it four instead of three. Somewhere in there is a good balance. You can make it more, but of course, who wants to type too many characters? But um, very, very cool. There's a lot of cool things in this um, to bring up other things, checking the history. And again, like let's say now, let's say I wanted to filter my results on Notepad. So I'm going to say Notepad. And I'm going to apply the filter. So now, when I'm in here, if I start typing, let's see, hello there. Hello. Notice this is blue. And even if I had copied from here I'm going to copy there oh, so let's reapply that now when I type here I'm typing hell, great hell, oh, because the first one's what I typed yeah, sorry, notice that it's not suggesting the other one from sight, right so it's a great way where you can limit it if you wanted to just on that um it's very, very cool. It takes a little bit of practice to get used to, but like I said, you can also choose how many results you have it shown, displayed. Um, again, I think it's really important to have that hotkey to turn on and off the toggle because when you start typing, you'll see how often the words are in your clipboard, but really, really cool tool. Hope you like it. Uh, go check it out. Yeah, there's not much else to say. We've done a lot of testing. We've spent a couple weeks on this tool, and it's finally ready. And we're going to have another one that's actually where you can, and I'll show it here um, in a different video because I want to break them up. But very cool tool. Um, thanks, Irfan, for working on this thing a lot. Please like the video if you, you think this is really cool. It really helps us out. We release videos three times a week. We also have great courses on AutoHotKey, so check us out if you're interested in learning more about AutoHotKey. Cheers.